the biggest thing that we do is respond to harbor seal pup strandings. We'll, so we'll get those pups and usually they'll come in really thin. We put them on like a milk-based formula diet. We'll tube feed them and now we're getting into weanling season so all the pups are not really being nursed by mom anymore and they're trying to find fish on their own. And we're getting calls of like weanlings that are struggling with that or maybe are sick. So we've had this little one for two months. And she was prematurely born and we got her within 24 hours. She needs to reach certain benchmarks and it's like been really interesting trying to teach her like how to like hunt for fish and like trying to like stabilize her health and like work with that. Where's the other one we got after it already been weaned? And she's, you can see she's much bigger. And it actually learned how to like hunt for fish from its mom. So it's a learned behavior. So they can be curious and come up to you, especially when they're pups. But us interacting with them, even if we just like want to get our selfie, like it could be the end of the line for the seal if like we're you know contaminating them or like stressing them out, or you know the mom sees us doing that and then it's like oh I can't fight off these humans so I'm gonna go and like that's it. It's it's hard because they are so cute, but they're wild animals. Well, at 11 we'll feed uh, this seal in the school and we'll put the little one in with her so that she can like watch another seal eat fish and like hopefully like get the hang of it. honestly like such a blessing to get this grant and it's like allowed me to really like dive headfirst into the internship so I don't have to try and juggle finding another job and it's been like such a dream it's so cool working here